My life is worth nothing now that I'm in your hands, Caesar Galenius. Look, don't be so fucking stupid. Johnny, what the hell is going on with Julian Assange? What's going on with Julian Assange? What's going on with Julian Assange? Yeah, Julian Assange, what's... What's going on with... I'll tell you what's going on with Julian Assange. Julian Assange represents the greatest fucking abandonment of a bloody Australian citizen that's ever been, ever been perpetrated. Ever? <laughs> it seems I've learned that if you get into trouble, you upset the American government anywhere overseas. Holy shit! The Australian government's just gonna fucking abandon you. Yeah, abandon you. And if any politicians out there from Australia are watching this shit, and I know you do watch the Ask Johnny channel, take it on board that you've got to get off your ass and do something for Julian. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! All because he wanted to expose the bloody uh, hypocrisy and bullshit and war crimes that go on behind the scenes. <laughs> war crimes, yes, war crimes that are carried out by the US and have been carried out by the US for fucking years. I'm individuals with AK-47. Request permission to engage. It's April 2010 and this video depicting what looks like a war crime goes around the world. Come on. 11 people killed by a US helicopter in Iraq, including two journalists. Secret material obtained by WikiLeaks, the organization run by this man, Julian Assange. Now, when a country can't tell its own bloody gear at residence what the hell they're doing, because they're too scared of the backlash, then they're probably doing something wrong. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! So Johnny, how is Julian, how is Julian handling this mental torture? No doubt, Johnny. Julian Assange, he's mental. He'll be a ruin of a man after this. He'll never bloody get over this. His life is fucked. Uh, that goes without saying. So I don't know why I said it, but by Jesus, uh, it's true. Uh, he'll never recover from this. You've just come from seeing Julian Assange in Belmarsh Prison. How is he today? Well, he's mentally and physically very weak. Let me be clear. I mean, he's destroyed. You can check the medical reports or what the doctor claimed before the UK court is living a nightmare. So you reckon the US, way back when they first bloody caught him, the US laid down the law to, to Australia and England and all the other fucking countries that, that bow to the US, they laid down the law and every other country's just followed what the US says? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I want to underscore, I think the leverage that uh, the United States has over uh, Great Britain in this context is uh, they're both members of Five Eyes. And I can guarantee you if Julian Assange uh, it would not be extradited, at least to the best that the British could do, the intelligence sharing would end. And I can guarantee you the intelligence people at MI5, MI6 are talking to the FBI and CIA and Director of National Intelligence, and they all despise Julian. And that's why there's no weight, given that political context, that the British would ever uh, resist extradition. Mm. And it's gone on for bloody decades now. It's a fucking disgrace. For nearly four years, Julian Assange has been locked up inside Belmarsh Prison. And not once has he had a visit from a High Commissioner, until now. Well, I think it's very important that the Australian Government is able to discharge its consular obligations. Uh, I'm very pleased that I'm able to see Mr Assange today. No Australian official has seen him since November of 2019. And since November of 2019. What a weak bunch of bastards they are. <laughs> Holy shit, are you kidding me? But to make a spectacle of myself in the arena is not worthy of one who is the son of a king.